Um, he's our he's our husband. Uh, we have uh, George's little brother. This is on the Will Thompson. Uh, we have David Gerd. Um, Dylan Gross, I mean, these are kids that uh, saw some time last year. One nice thing about you know, some of our situation, a lot of our younger players got to play. So we were able to get a lot of kids. You know, my goal every year, and I know I say this, is to play 22 players. And we truly tried to play as many kids you know, that well. So that a lot of them saw time last year. Um, defense, uh, you know you have lines and water there too. Yeah. <laughs> we, we play a bunch. Uh, Chris Miller runs our defense. He, Phil Williams, Rusty Wallace, and Logan Trout. Like, I don't really do anything defensively. I mean, I, I'm there. I, I'm there. You know, I cover if someone, but I don't, I purposely, my job with the defense is I run the scout team. And um, our coaches do a great job. I mean, we switched our scheme back to a 3-3 stack, and we play okay. six six linemen coming back to that played last year. I mean, Matt, how many tackles for loss did you have last year? Too many. It was like 24, 25 tackles for losses. Dustin, how, Dustin, how many did you have? You had a bunch. Yeah, I mean, so we've got probably two, two of the best. Thank you, appreciate it. Hunter Wallace played. Ethan Beer played, George played, am I missing anybody? No, so of our top, we need six linemen, we got five returners. We got some you know, some new kids coming back. Uh, Luke's, Luke Funk started at linebacker, of course, he's a sophomore. Um, Tyler Mangle came in week two, week three. He was three at Amber. Yeah, so he came in and started at linebacker. He's back this year. And then uh, Dylan Weaver also uh, played some at Central Dolphin. He played linebacker. Yeah. linebacker. Yeah. So, and Isaac, his first year as a starter was the first team at uh, safety. Um, so, I mean, we are really strong. Up there. The strength of our team is the heart of the defense. I mean, that, you know, we, you know our offense will be good. It's good. I mean, we, we wound up leading the league last year to a lot of it. But this year, the, what's going to drive our team is the defense. And, you know, we are going to be like you know, sharks in the frenzy just getting over hit. Land shark defense. I got I got the I got the highlights. Um, I'm directed I, by Jeff and produced by me, right? I'm not yeah. Yo, you, you you get some you get some credits. Hey guys, I, I don't know how much Kevin um, covered some of this. I'd like to get some opinions. Maybe we can start with Coach after he uh, gets that hot dog out of his mouth. Um, about last year. What do you remember about last year? Um, last year was last year, or this year is this year, or there's some carryover? You guys had a great year last year. So, we believe we can win games. Um, in the past, it was we hoped things would go our way, and we competitive. Now we know we're just going to So I think it's a it seems to me, I, I know some of these gentlemen that are sitting at this table here with us. Um, how, how many how many returners you have? It seems to me like you have a good core of kids back from last year. We do. I mean, we're looking at you know, of our top ten offensive linemen, eight or more seniors. Okay. So, you know, we have uh, a running back of average 8.9 yards per carry running back this year. Um, you know, we have uh, our receiver, our second leading receiver back this year, from last year. And, uh, you know, we have some holes to fill. I mean, you know, when you lose the running back of the year and the defensive back of the year, you know, uh, but I think we have the people that are going to step up and do the job this year. You lost an Isaac. You gained an Isaac. I know. I, I know Isaac uh, contributed last year. I'm going to say he's running the show. You can tell me. Is he your quarterback? Is, is, is Isaac going to play quarterback this year? He's going to play quarterback, and you know, Michigan Dobb is a promising sophomore coming up. So we're looking. You know, we have some good players on the way. I mean, we've got three good backs. We've got. So we feel very confident that we have. You know, a good number of players. A good number of depth. Now, obviously, nobody wants. You know, no. 
you know, it's not like we're you know, Penn State or our top 4D or all, you know, uh, top 100 kids, but, right, uh, right. you know, I like this team a lot, and I think they, you know, the big thing is they, they know how to win. They know what it takes to win, you know, they know when to flip the switch and get to work, and uh, we got a really good reacclimation. We're very far along as far as our, uh, as our offensive and defensive install. Now we just have to polish it up. Yeah. Tell me, um. Can I jump in for one second? Sure, sure. Sure, that's fine. Um, roster? Not yet? He emailed it to me. Now, I won't send it out to Oscar Scrooge on Wednesday. Uh, next Wednesday? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just send me the thing and I'll just attach it. Do you know where I can get your stats? I looked on Max Pep's name. He didn't have last year. I just want to see Same place we get them from the newspaper. We don't have a stack out, so whoever takes our stats, that's what we go by. Do you guys keep any stats on that? No. Or do you have any ideas? We don't want to. Yeah, we keep, the, we, keep, about winning games. we keep the stats with the losses. That's about it. Yeah. Talking well. just be nice. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I, I really don't. Maybe Penn Live has some. Yeah, they, they do. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. Penn Live has some, but not. They don't have some. They're yeah. they're not all accurate. I don't think. Oh, no, they're the more accurate. They're right. They're more accurate. Right. Really? Okay. Yeah. I'll check it out. Thanks for all your help, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for working. Sorry, thank you. <laughs> No problem. Hey, coach, I don't like to compare the Isaacs, but tell me, tell me where this Isaac is. Uh, in I, I'm, I think he's pretty athletic, for what I can tell. But uh, where is he is as a quarterback? His, his development. I think you're pretty demanding when it comes to the quarterback position. I've, I've been very fortunate. I've coached some really good quarterbacks, and the thing that I've always admired most about this Isaac is he's got that gam riverboat gam mentality. I mean, he's going to take a play, mm -hmm. and he's going to look for the big play. You're very much like the kid I used to have at Millersburg, where I just got the deep's not open, the deep's might be. He'll take a shot, and it's going to be, um, you know, I mean, as far as his development, and, you know, he's... he's He's not afraid to pull the ball down. He sees something oh, open. Oh, up and, uh, he's not afraid to take chances. And I, I like you know, he's a risk taker. And you know we're we're all about high risk, high reward. And, you know we're still going to do our stuff that we've always done, um, doing a little bit differently. But the results were pretty good last year. So you know I mean I, I, I think a phenomenal job for us. And I think and I know I do. I, I always get the impression in, in talking to you and looking, watching your offense, it's, it's a lot about an Isaac making a decision with the football. And, and we're, we're still basically an option offense. We're not doing understanding, we're doing it from the gun. But I call a play and it can be one of the, you know, it's what they see on the field. And you now we've incorporated some, some of those concepts into our passing game where we have, you know, I don't need to be right every time. You know, the players react and we teach them, you know, in certain situations this is what to do in other situations so that we are right more than we're wrong. Hey got hey guys, thanks for your time, coach. I, I appreciate it. I'm gonna let you eat your lunch now. Um, good luck this season too, okay? Thank you very much.